I desperately want to see these five fights that I'm going to talk about in this video. The top five fights that need to happen in 2024 this year. Starting off with number five, and that is Sean O'Malley versus Marab Devalish Vili. Uh, we need to see this. We need to see this fight. We need to see how Sean O'Malley deals with Marab's pressure, with Marab's wrestling, with Marab's pace, with Marab's cardio. We need, we need to see how he deals with it. Can he knock Marab out? Uh, I don't I don't know. But I, I need to see it. I really need to see it. And I do think uh, I gave my kind of a prediction for this fight in uh, my end of your champs video. Check that one out. It's my most viewed video. Uh, please, uh, UFC, make this fucking fight for once. Just please give us the fans what we want. And we want O'Malley versus Marab. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, nah, man. Marab, no one wants to see Marab fight for a title. Come on, man. There's nothing more exciting at 135 right now. I want to see O'Malley versus Marab. I don't care what anyone says. I think that's a great fight. Moving on to number four, and that is Islam Makachev taking on Armin Sarukian. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. I get it. All right. Uh, this is a dump fight, right? This is a dump, like, in terms of, like, anticipated. Like, it's not an anticipated fight. But for me personally... It's a good fight, man. It's a fight that needs to happen. I don't even know why I said it's a dumb fight, but I said it's a, uh, no, it's not talked about basically. So it's like seen as like, oh, this is a dumb decision to put this on this list. But I do believe that Armand Sarukian has the goods to defeat Islam Makhachev. He's got those goods, man. He's got those skills. He's got everything. Uh, there are some things lacking with him, but I do think he's got the best chance at 55 of beating Makhachev. Moving on to number three. And it is Leon Edwards versus Shavkat Rachmanov. Leon Edwards versus Shavkat Rachmanov is a f fascinating fight. It's a fascinating fight. You have the well-rounded guy in Shavkat, ma mainly a striker. Let's be honest. Shavkat, when you look at Shavkat, he's not this like all-American wrestler. He's not this Khabib who's taking people down and mauling them. He usually strikes. His last fight wasn't really that, but... I think against Leon Edwards, it will be a striking contest, and I do favor Leon, but I really want to see that fight. I think it's an interesting style matchup. I do think it's a good matchup for Leon, but I want to see that fight primarily for the reason that Leon Edwards wins, because I personally think Shavkat Rachmanov is one of the most overrated fighters in the company. Uh, not the most overrated, but one of them, 100%. Then we go to number two, and that's got to be Hamzat Chemaev versus the winner. Or Sean Strickland versus Drakus Duplessis. Count me in all day, every day for that fight. That is such a great fight. Hamza Chemayev, in my opinion, personally, is the scariest first round fighter there has ever been. Now, I know people will say Nganu's the scariest, right? Nganu, I mean, he knocks you out, but hey, like, I'd rather get sparked out and conscious than get tortured for five minutes by Hamza. Let's be honest. There's a there's something about getting dominated through every single second of a round and beaten up that horrifically than just getting KO'd. There is a massive difference between that. And that's what Hamza Chemaev does to you. He embarrasses you. He 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 literally suns you. And like you're a freaking fighter who's been trained your whole life. And that that's what fucking happens to you. I mean, we need to see this guy fight for a title against Strickland or Duplessis. Both are interesting matchups. Uh again, uh, watch my take on these matchups on uh, one of my videos, uh, 2024 Champions. I want that video to do to to be to get even more views just because I hey it's already got 1.4k let's get that to 2k all right let's get that video to 2k I'm not asking for a whole lot I know I, I kind of am a bit but let's get that video let, let's keep promoting that video because that video in my opinion is one of my my best videos uh, then we go to number one and that's gotta be John Jones versus Tom Aspinall now. This is a fight that's probably not going to happen. And if, if you're new to my channel, you know my take on this. I believe that Tom Aspinall is the biggest threat to John Jones that there has ever been. That there has ever been. Uh, personally, I really think Tom Aspinall probably beats John Jones. But, you know, this is not a prediction video for it, but he's the biggest threat. If anyone can do it, it's Tom Aspinall. And I want to see if John Jones could take that on because John Jones... Uh, one thing he hasn't done in his career is ever take on uh, a matchup like this or, or a nightmare matchup. He's never fought a nightmare matchup for himself. 
Uh, I guess Gustafson was close to that, but I think Aspinall is the definition of it because Aspinall has all those skills, but he has submissions that Gustafson does not have. I don't think he subs Jones, but he also has that power and that size, and I, I, I just think right now at this point, Tom Aspinall should be a pretty solid favorite over John Jones. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, leave a like, share, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Lost Soul MMA, lowercase, uh, and I'll see you, uh, uh, the MMA is lowercase, the everything else, not, not everything else, just the first letter, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you when I go live.